A North Carolina English teacher resigns after covering the mouth of an 11-year-old boy with heavy-duty tape to stop him from talking in class. Let's dive into the details, shall we? An 11-year-old North Carolina student allegedly had his mouth taped shut by his 6th grade English teacher after talking too much in class. Catherine Webster received a text from her son Brady in February saying, I don't know what to do with an image of himself with layers of blue painter's tape stuck it to his mouth during class at Smithsfield Middle School, Johnston County. Horrified by the image of her son, who she described to be a chatterbox who has a tendency to clown around. Catherine posted a shocking image to Facebook to bring to light her son's story and his interaction with Dawn Felix, who sh she refers to as Mrs. Felix in the post. DailyMail.com can exclusively picture Dawn Felix, who joined the Johnson County School in August last year after her identity was confirmed by Catherine. Felix is said to be an international teacher, although it's unclear where she hails from. She has since resigned from her job and allegedly been stripped of her visa, meaning she would no longer be able to work in the U.S. Well, that's a plus, I suppose. At least they did something about it. Catherine said she hoped her post would serve as an example to any other teachers or caregivers who may be walking a fine line. Or maybe to parents that are putting their kids in these institutions that allow these workers to interact with their children. She said she'd never met, seen, or received an email from Felix, who allegedly used this bizarre punishment on at least three students. And none of their parents said anything? Ugh. But apparently I should have several times over so that I could work with her to correct my son Brady's behavior in her class, wrote a concerned Catherine. Correct his behavior because he likes to talk in class. Okay? And th this is so annoying. People need to get out of this, like, public school, like, thing that has been going on for over a century. Just because the kid wants to not learn about boring stuff that he probably will never even use in adulthood doesn't mean you need to correct his behavior. You know, they're so it's so sought after nowadays to have someone that can talk, be entertaining. What do you need? What do we need more programmers? We don't have enough of those. Anyways, let's continue. His grades were good, so I had no reason to believe anything was amiss there, there because she never once reached out to me. The mother of three said other teachers claimed Brady got along well with others and enjoys entertaining his classmates. Exactly. What? So there's different types of school. I mean, some kids go to entertainment school, so he's already good at it. But let's make him do all this stuff that he could probably just do at home when he's not around his friends and learn it just as well. What is this woman that's taping kids' mouth shuts? What, she's going to she, she's gonna teach him something that, that he can't learn on his own? He also has a tendency to clown around and be disruptive and talk too much, he said. I'm a reasonable person and a fairly strict parent with no tolerance of disrespect and an understanding that teachers do have, ti have time for repetitive disruption or do not have time for disru repetitive disruption. So I also discipline Brady at home when this happens. Well, or just put him in a different program. After receiving the text message from her son, who said he was humiliated by the experience, Catherine said she couldn't hold back her shock and disappointment. She said that other teachers had communicated their concerns about Brady's behavior and, with her help, come up with a solution to keep disruptances in class to a minimum. Those teachers have had to redirect or correct, there's that word again, his behavior, and they have always emailed or ca called me to make me aware, she said in a post. To anyone out there, I was kind of like the same type of kid. You're not ever going to correct that. It's never going to happen. People are who they are. You could try to correct. It's not even a big deal. Like, this is such a lucrative type of uh, skill now. Again, what do we need another factory worker, which public schools were originally created to make factory workers? We need another one of those. The, the, the people who stand out, those oddballs, so to speak, those are the people that are so sought after now. We that we need more of that. The school should be teaching that. But instead, look at they just they just stamp stomp on it.
put a stamp of disapproval on it and try to get rid of it and try to beat it out of them, essentially. You know, this isn't necessarily beating, but you see my point. They gave him a silent lunch or move him away from his buddies or, in some cases, more serious but acceptable forms of punishment. They have never laid a hand on Brady. Well, yeah, good. But, again, trying to move him away from his friends, which he's using that time to actually hone his skills potentially for a different, you know, a more lucrative job in the future. But when speaking of her son's English teacher, she said that rather than addressing her concerns with the parent, Felix had taken matters into her own hands. She has been doing it for a couple months to numerous children, and according to my child, a detective with Johnston County Sheriff's Department and other classmates, she also sometimes taped their wrists together, said Catherine. Wow. Public prisons. This was an ongoing thing in her classroom, and always without a call to parents about their children's behavior, at least mine and one other parent I know, and potentially a third. Catherine claimed in the Facebook post that her son's teacher had told detective investigating the incident that it was funny and that the children laughed when it happened. <sighs> this is sick. On February 14th, Brady had his phone on him at school and sent Catherine an image of himself revealing that what, hap what was happening behind closed doors. Well, go Brady, this little kid, because... If it wasn't for him, no one would even know about that. Did you notice the woman, like, taped up to his eyes? They're, like, on his... The tape is in his eyes. Ugh. She stressed that sometimes her son laughs when he's uncomfortable. Maybe he, d he did laugh standing in her classroom in front of 20-something classmates while she slapped stripped, strip after strip after strip. Looks like about 10 to 12 strips, layer after layer of blue painter's tape ac across more than half of his face, she said. Yeah, it's insane. What if he's like has a cold and can't breathe? After seeing the image, Catherine said she immediately called the school. In a statement to WRAL, the school administration said we can confirm that whenever such allegations arise, our administration... Uh, respond swiftly by investigating the allegations and sometimes by removing staff from the classroom pending completion of a thorough review. The sheriff's office also investigated after saying that several allegations by other parents were also made. After consulting with the district attorney, the Johnston County Sheriff's Office decided there wasn't enough to warrant an assault charge. <sighs> okay, that's insane. She has so many authority over this kid. What I think is interesting is the kid, the school is saying one thing, but the sheriff's office is saying another. The school is saying if we get something like this, an allegation, we Im immediately remove him from the classroom. But then the sheriff's office is saying, hey, several complaints were made by other parents. And I don't know if this is after this Brady kid, like, and his mom brought this to light, but. It sounds like the school is not telling the truth and only is doing this because of internet pushback. After consulting with the district attorney, the Johnson County Sheriff's Department... Oh, yeah, we already said that. Sorry. Johnson County Schools told the outlet that Felix, who was just hired in August 2022, resigned on February 17th, just days after the photo was texted to Catherine. The teacher whose contract was damaged from this incident will be returning to her home country since she can no longer teach here, said Catherine in the post. I do not know what kind of disciplinary action to, it takes to disqualify them from remaining in these contracts, but I do regret that she will not be made an example of. Well, kind of she will be. What is she saying? She's getting deported, essentially. Catherine claims that the sixth-grade ELA teacher who was recruited from a pool of international teacher candidates to fill gaps will soon be leaving the country. So was it an English class? Who cares? The kid's just messing around. It's not even... I don't know. It's so weird. She added that she still had questions about what the Department of Public Instruction would have done if the teacher was not allegedly stripped of her teaching visa. I would still like to know what exactly the Department of, of Public Instruction would do in a slightly different situation. That remains unanswered for me, she said. I think we all know it is, too, it is far too easy for teachers to mistreat, even abuse students in a classroom. 
be dismissed from their district or in this case resign once placed on leave and reported only to get a job teaching in the next country or state. So at what point are behaviors like this investigated and punished to a point that a teacher cannot repeat the p pattern on other children elsewhere? Well, I mean, the social media posts here, that definitely helps. The disappointed mother of three said that her view of teachers had not been tarnished and that Felix's behavior is few and far between. Oh, okay, but all the other corrective behaviors that the other teachers needed to do to make sure your kid's not an entertainer and he doesn't he's not talkative. Mm. Okay, I love and for fervently support our teachers. I try to partner with my children's teachers, though it's more difficult the older they get because teachers have more students and less time to spend on each family, she said. Well, and your kid's is going to just be, you know, just, he's going to just get normal. I mean, not like, like this is going to become normal from the older. At 11, if a kid is talkative, he's going to be talkative. That's just how it is. There's nothing you can do. This post is not a blow to teachers in general, just one teacher. In every profession, you will always find a few bad apples, but they do not spoil the whole bunch. DailyMail.com has contacted the Johnston County Sheriff's Office, Smithfield Middle School, the Department of Public Instruction, and Catherine Webster for comment. Yeah, this stuff just... So unfortunately, I recorded like a five-minute uh, rant on this topic, but uh, my software quit recording randomly, and I didn't notice. So let's give this a take two, shall we? Yeah, so what I don't like about this type of stuff is it's just insane. People just complain all the time about, okay, you know, my, my kids, they go to school, and, you know, all this bad stuff happens. But, you know, it's just a few teachers. It's not the whole thing. Yes, it is. The whole institution is broken even a lot of conservatives they're like oh no it's fine you know we got to get them in school and it, the corrective behavior no you got to get out of this mindset that they have started a hundred years ago they, they it's just like a factory it's like a factory this is what it was do this is why they put it into service this is why they put it into effect is to create factory workers this is so old and outdated and we have so much technology now where kids can just learn at home i've ever understood this for the longest time like why can't you learn at home watch the lectures at home and then when you go to school you could talk to about your classmates and talk to them and, and all these people are always like, oh, what happened? You know, my kids, this happened to them, this happened to them. When does anyone have a, pu a good public uh, school experience? It never happens. Yeah, you make friends, but that's it. And this whole system is stupid. People always complaining about obesity for children and then obesity. It just transfers generations because they learn it as kids. You're sitting down for an hour straight. As professionals, you're supposed to only sit down for 15 to 30 minutes at a time when you're doing office work. But kids, sit down there for an hour, get a five-minute break, and then you're supposed to take a 10-minute break. Five to 10-minute break, and they get five minutes, bam, bells there, sit back down, and don't say, don't say a word. Why not do all this at home now, record the video, and then the kids can watch it at home? Why do they have to go and sit here all day. And there's the whole practice for schools, you know, public schools. E even charter schools are very similar to this. Like, you just, there's all these people. Charter schools are better, but you could be going to school with anybody. It could be some two pr pr two uh, uh, convicts could be in prison right now, and you could be going to school with their kid who lives with their grandma, and they've learned all their lives. Now they're 11. They just, the two parents went to, school, uh, to jail a year ago. They've basically been raised by prisoners, convicts, violent criminals, and now there's in school with your kids. I saw a similar story, another 11-year-old a couple weeks ago about how this girl was just bullying him. He's some little small kid, a sixth grader, and he's going to school with an eighth grader. Could have been held back. Her parents could be convicts, and she's just beating this kid. And the school doesn't care, you know, and, and all this stuff. And then they're trying to leave it up to the school. Why? And then she, I said the thing, same thing about her. Parents have to start taking responsibility for this type of thing. I understand it's hard. I know it. I get it. But, I, you know, you got to watch out for your kids, especially when they're 11. Like, you, the kids can learn on their own. You know what I mean? Like, Brilliant.com is going to teach you, their kids math science way better than some idiot teacher with some stupid, simple teaching degree can have. And that's all they need to teach. They don't need to be some brilliant professor or anything. This is how colleges do. 
I always got this wrong back in the day. I I would think, okay, they, they have to be great business people or something. And then I went to college for a couple of years. It's like a local college. But the peop, the guy that was running the introduction to business class had never ran an actual business. He was a manager at an electric company for 30 years. School is stupid, especially nowadays. Back in the day, you know... I'll give people credit for, you know, trying not understanding that back then, you know, but now with, with, with YouTube and stuff and with all these podcasts, you can learn from brilliant business people that are billionaires on a podcast several days a week. If you, you could get them every single day, you can learn comedy, entertainment, you, like this kid, he probably just wants to entertain. That's what he's probably going to do when he grows up. But instead he's getting abused some, by some stupid teacher for some stupid class he's never even going to use. What is the point get him into a situation where he can learn some stuff on his own there's so many programs now that gamify it so it makes it fun you can make sure the kid's doing his work and everything is his work and then they give it into you for bright bite size so it doesn't get so boring and tedious there's a bug in my studio that's random uh flying bug scary but anyways uh, sorry about that uh yeah this is it's insane it's insane that this is the system. People have to get out of this mindset of public schools, especially with technology. I get it for little kids. You can't leave little kids at home. You got to work. It's awful, though, because little kids are more prone to abuse. But I kind of get that, you know, you, 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 what are you going to do? But when a kid's 11, he can stay on by himself. You can make sure he's doing his work through a gamified uh, platform. You can watch it with him. You can show it. He can show you easily what he learned. It's not like school. What did you learn today, Brady? Yeah, that's a kid's name. What did you learn today? You know, and then they tell you, but you don't really know. But if you, oh, look it, I'm brilliant. Look it, I want to go read it. I want to go check it out again because it was so cool. This is what I learned about this. This is what I learned about this. Especially the kid likes to talk. He probably likes words. You just got to put it into the right environment. Yeah, okay, this is what this means. Blah, blah, blah. Write the definition down, kids. It's boring. That stuff is so boring. That's boring for me, and I'm almost 35, okay? Boring. Could you imagine being an 11 year old who just has all this even more energy than me, just wants to go run and just do stuff and talk to his friends? That's just stuff is so messed up. I learn the best by talking. When I, when I hang out with my friends and we talk and I, I, I re explain some of the news and stuff, it makes me remember it better. That's just how humans work. But public schools are set up in a way. That it's just like, nope, sit down there, boring, boring, boring. You have to do it for an hour straight. You barely get to ask questions. You barely even get to talk. Shut up, shut up, shut up. No adult works like this. Like, nobody, you know? I mean, some office workers do, to be fair, but do, you, do, do, are, do any of them think that's optimal? If you're in that situation do you, and, and you work like that, is that optimal? Is that the most fun you want to have? You probably hate your life. So it's just like kids, we know we hate our lives as adults when we have to do it. But kids, no, that's just what you have to do. It, you have to correct the behavior if you don't like it. Oh, this stuff drives me nuts. Yeah, so I've been saying this for like 20 years, almost 35. My parents finally got me out of school when I was 16. Well, my mom did, not my dad. But yeah, then finally I got rid of the notion of like learning is boring. I started going on different websites and this was in 2000. 2005, 2006, and there was still so much you could learn from the internet back then. And they had like the science channel and stuff. Now that I wasn't just forced into eight hours of stupid school, I actually wanted to go, you know, a few hours out of my day. I worked on uh, my business and I did an animation company. And the other, I do that for like five hours a day. And then a few hours, I'd go and just be interested in learning stuff. I'd come across something online and I'd want to go learn it. But I hated learning in school. It was boring. I hated doing homework. I never did homework. Unlike this kid that in this story, he has good grades. I didn't have good grades. I hated it. So at least he has good grades. So just leave the kid alone. He seems smart. Let him learn on his own. And get him out of these schools. Like his, his mom annoys me. She's like, oh, it's just one bad apple. I love teachers. Why? Corrective behavior, like, I can't wait, to, you know, seven, eight years when this kid can get out of this environment with his parents, go work on his own. Hopefully, he, he, he doesn't listen to his parents, keeps his talkative nature, his clowning around, his entertainment. He sounds funny. He was getting his hands and his mouth taped, and he was laughing about it, you know? So, he's he tries to be a cool kid, you know? He tries to be a good person, you know, just chill and just laugh about stuff. Sounds like this kid might be an awesome comedian one day and that's so sought after nowadays with youtube so big and it just keeps growing entertainment's huge we need people like this do we need another programmer 
do we really need another programmer? We have so many of those. You can't really teach being talkative and entertaining. You kind of can, but it's really hard to teach that personality. It's natural. Anyone can go learn how to be a, like a factory worker. Almost, you know, if you're smart enough, have a certain IQ, anyone can go become a programmer. I just don't know why you would try to correct this behavior, as they put it, if they already are na have a natural ability. It's like if someone's like a natural baseball player, they can hit a home run like every single time when they're when they're 11. They're just destroying. It's like, no, 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 stop, wait. We need to correct this behavior. Who hits a, who hits a ball with the bat? Who shoots balls in the baskets? Who throws a ball so their friends can catch it? No one says that. You know, people accept it because it's a lucrative job and people know it. And I guess people haven't just caught up yet uh, on, on entertainment and talking, which I don't know how. It's been so lucrative for almost a decade, maybe even more. I mean, if you look at it, you could go back forever, you know, for a long time. Socrates was an entertainer and stuff. And he, he we know his name today. So trying to get rid of this stuff out of kids, I just will never understand it. I didn't understand it when I went to school. My parents did the same thing. No, don't talk. Just, just do your work. Work, get good grades. No, I hated it. I hated it. I still do. I would never do that now. Again, I learned from when I hang out with my friends. That's how I learn, and that's what I enjoy doing. It makes learning fun. You learn together. I'll go watch a YouTube video about history, and my roommate will get home, and I'll tell him, oh, do you know what? Did you know about this? And then it may, it reinforces it. That's how it should be done in school. You go and learn it on your own, and then you go to school if you have a school like that, and then you talk about it in school. Why do the opposite? I'm never going to understand that. I mean, I kind of get why they started it. They didn't have tablets where you could learn on your own back then. You know, so I kind of get it. They wanted the interactivity, and they did want to do this for factory workers. This is there's the old thing after World War II. You know, let's get the factory workers, help the economy, blah, 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 blah. It's, that was a long time ago. And it takes, that's what I hate about government. Government schools, you know, it's the same thing with any type of, any program with government, right? It's just like they've, um, it, it, they get a program and they never change it, no matter what. It's so boring. But that's just my opinion. What's your opinion on the story? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.